everybody! Today I'm going to show you how to build your own light table and I can assure you that it's so easy. The reason why I didn't use a light table for many many years is that I always thought I have to purchase one in store and they're extremely expensive so I never got around to purchasing one. However, you can build your light table in a quick and easy way by yourself and I'm going to explain to you how that works. So the basic concept of a light table is that you have a light, surprise, surprise. Then you need a glass where the light shines through and you could put your piece of paper on top of there and you trace your lines while you ink and something to hold the glass in place. So that's about it. It's just as easy as it sounds. So there are a few things which make the whole concept a bit tricky. The first thing is the light because most lamps are built in a way that the light shines downwards onto your table because that's the main reason why you would use a lamp. However, for the light table you need the light to shine upwards. So you either need to take a lamp where you can switch the top of the lamp around and the line sh light shines up or you just need to prop your lamp in a way that the lamp lies upside down. That's what I'm doing right now. I just put my lamp on its back and I prop it up with a book and I'm good to go. As far as the glass goes, that's actually quite easy to come by. You just need a picture frame glass. So this is mine and we already had a huge picture frame in our house, but even if you don't, you can still purchase a picture frame and that's still not, not even nearly as expensive as purchasing a new light table. And the third thing is something to hold the glass in place and this is the part where you can get really creative. However, I wanted to have a light table which is integrated into my table because my table has the height I like to work on when I'm when I'm working on my art and I don't want anything that is placed on top of my table because that will alter this height and I'm going to show you the setup of my light table in a second. So this is my desk and you can see that it's one of those desks which has an edge. Like this is the left part the central part and the right part and this edge here is what we want for our light table and this will make our lives so much easier but if you don't have such a desk don't worry I'm going to show you an alternative to that in a second so as it is quite common with these edge tables I have my computer down there So I just prop my lamp upside down on top of my computer and the light shines upward. What you can also do is you can place your lamp onto the ground right here. It all comes back to which kind of lamp you have. Once you have this set up, you just need to place the glass right there. And you have a light table. I just need half a minute or so to set this up and it has the height of my desk and what I also love is that you don't have any edges. If you have a real light table it is above your desk and you have four edges around it. And this can get a little tricky in terms of putting your arm somewhere. This light table only has one edge, this one right here. The other sides here all are adjacent to my table plate. So when I put my arm here, I have something to rest my arm on. You know what I mean? 
So this is really awesome about this setup. If you don't have such a table, you can also put some things under the glass. You can put the lamp on top of the table and then something beneath the glass. And I'm going to show you the setup in a minute. So that would be that. I didn't uh, bother to put my lamp on top of the table because I'm sure you can't imagine how that works. And I've just put some blocks underneath my glass. These are just some ordinary yoga blocks. If you use wood blocks, this is also fine. And if you do it like this, you just slide the, slide the lamp in between there. And that also works fine. This is what I did when I could not film at my desk for the past two videos, I think. <laughs> because I wasn't home. And that also works fine, but this is also where I realized that it's really, really annoying to have these edges at the sides here. Because you always work with your arm up here and you can't put your elbow anywhere. So, as I said, it's really simple. You just need to get a bit creative in terms of the tools and the props you use, but that should be fine. I hope you found this video useful, and now that we all have a light table at home, I'm going to show you next week which kinds of benefits a light table has over having none, and I hope to see you next week. Bye!